Okay, um, in this video we have two problems left from our previous series. One is we have this expression here, 1 divided, 1 minus the square root of x divided by 1 minus x. And we want to take the limit of this as x approaches 1. And the second problem is we have x squared plus 2x minus 8 divided by x to the 4 minus 16. And we want to take the limit of this one as x approaches 2. So let's take this one first. We have 1 minus the square root of x divided by 1 minus x. And we want to take the limit as x approaches 1. And let's see, if we try this plugging 1 in, the square root of 1 is 1, so that's going to give us 0. 1 minus 1, that's 0, so we have 0 over 0. doesn't do us any good at all. Um, here, if we look at the denominator, we could rewrite this as 1 minus the square root of x squared. And we could write this as 1 squared if we want to, since 1 squared is just 1. And we have the difference of two squares. And again, remember how that goes. If we have, say, a squared minus b squared, that's equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 1 minus x, we can write that as 1 plus the square root of x times 1 minus the square root of x. Let's check that. This will give us 1. The inner terms, they cancel out. We have minus the square root of x times the square root of x is just x. So, let's go back to our problem here then. We have 1 minus x in the denominator. And we're going to rewrite that denominator. So this will equal 1 minus the square root of x divided by this. 1 plus the square root of x times 1 minus the square root of x. And this and this are going to cancel out. So here we have 1 divided by 1 plus the square root of x. And now we can plug our limit in as x equals 1. This will equal, the square root of 1 is just 1, so this is 1 half. So this limit right here, that comes out to equal 1 half. And for this one, let's see, let's write it down here. We have the limit as x approaches 2. For x squared plus 2x minus 8 divided by x to the fourth minus 16. If we just plug in 2, this will give us 16 minus 16. So we have a 0 in the denominator. Not a good sign. And here then we're going to have 2 squared 4 plus 2 times 4 is 8 minus 8. Get that zero over zero again. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at this a little bit more closely. Here we have x squared plus 2x minus 8. Can we factor this out? So we're looking for two numbers. When we multiply the two numbers together, we get minus 8. And when we add the two numbers together, we get plus 2. So plus 4 times negative 2 
Looks like that's going to do it for us. So we'll have x plus 4 times x minus 2 up here in the numerator. And then down here we have x to the fourth power minus 16. Um, let's look at this one here. x to the fourth, we could write this as x squared squared minus 4 squared. That obviously is just x to the fourth minus 16. But now we have it as a difference of two squares. So we can say x to the fourth minus 16 will equal x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4. Multiply the x to the fourth plus 4x four squared minus 4x squared. Those drop out as we expect they would. And 4 times minus 4 is negative 16. So, down here then we can have, let's make some room for it. Here we have x squared plus 4. times x squared minus 4. And we want the limit of this as x approaches 2. Of course, we can't just plug the x in. That goes to 0 here. And it gives us a 0 here. Um, and there's nothing here we can cancel out. This is x plus 4. This is x squared plus 4. So those aren't going to cancel. But here, again, we've got the difference of two squares. So this will be equal to, the numerator stays the same, we have x plus 4 times x minus 2. And then down here we have x squared plus 4 and again the difference of two squares. x squared minus 2 squared so we can write that as x plus 2 times x minus 2. This here is just x plus 2 times x minus 2. x squared, the inner terms drop out as we expect them to, and we have minus 4. So, now when we do that, these go away. We want to plug in x equals 2. That would give us 0 and that would give us 0, but those are gone. And it looks like there's nothing to prevent us then from just plugging x equals 2 right into this formula. So let's see. This will equal 2 plus 4 is 6 on top divided by 2 squared is 4 plus 4 is 8 times 2 plus 2 is 4, and that's 2 times 3, divided by 8 times 2 times 2, and this goes away, and here we have 3 in the numerator, oops, let's look at this again, we'll put an x equals 2 under this expression, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 squared is 4 plus 4 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then that's 2 times 3. This is 2 times 2. Those cancel. So we have 3 over 16. So this one here comes out to be equal to 3 over 16. Okay. Um, that's it then for these five problems that we had prepared. We have some other ones that we're going to put up for um, future videos, and those will be more complicated problems yet. So come back and join us for those videos, and we'll try and tackle some more complicated problems.